Ready? One, two, three. Beer thoughts. Daddy got oh, beer thoughts ready. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Beer, beer thoughts. thoughts. All right. So this doesn't quite look like Jen. This is my dad, Steve. I'm in Maryland. And we're going to be um, doing a little on the road tasting. First one we're going to do is Farmer's Daughter Blonde by Red Shedman. Local. It's local right on the street. It says light golden color from the combination of pale and wheat malts. This beer flirts with the bitterness but does not commit and flaunts a subdued fruitiness and delicate malty taste. Just like the farmer's daughter. <laughs> exactly, that's what it says. Everybody loves the girl next door. Start off by introducing her to your palate. All right, 5.1, so it's a nice light beer. Cute little thing, I don't know if you can see it there. I'll take a picture for Jenna, kind of curious if she can do it in there. And don't care about if we like just talk because she'll take our talking. Oh, okay. Thank you. Also, we got a little trivia later for you. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. We're going to do a little <laughs> little trivia on the road. We're going to see, uh, talk about if you all know why, you know, how the six pack came about. Why is it a six pack? Mm -hmm. Why is it a 40? So, we're going to oh, give you a little a trivia one. later. <laughs> so, all right, we're pouring this. I got mine in my Ligonor cup. This is actually a wine cup, but works well for beer, too. But actually, this beer is made at the same. Yes, is the vineyard. Vineyard it's here. Ligonier wine yeah. cellars. And the Ligonier. lady at the liquor store that we went to said that their beer is actually better than their uh, wine. So. So it looks like a, a light and kind of a Budweiser. Look at it; it's almost got a different color in yellow. No, okay, now it's same. Do I dare say piss yellow? Yeah, seriously, we always say that. It no, looks like you? piss. We always like we're always like it looks like piss. All right, so here we go. Smell clean. Smell. And it is. It's like a. That's what it tastes like to me. Like a Budweiser. Like a Bud Light. Yeah. Regular. Bud Light, you're, yeah. you're a nice drinkable beer. Yep. Not a Bud Light, but like a, a good Budweiser. That's yeah, because a Bud Light is actually a Pilsner, and this is an ale. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess the farmer's daughter likes the uh, <laughs> likes the Bud Light. You can go cheaper. Brewed <laughs> <laughs> mm. in Mount Airy, Maryland. Yeah, that's it. Bling it on. So again, so like a Budweiser, but mm -hmm. good. So we'll finish this one and then we'll come back to the yeah the Shiner Bach. It won't be long. Nope. We gotta save a little bit for Beth too. I'll send you send me the videos yeah. and then I'll send them all to Jen. All right. And then coming back to the farmer's daughter. Mm -hmm. Even though she's hot and it's got a good looking can, it's like a Bud tastes like I think we said it earlier. Budweiser. Boring. Not, you know, again, if that's your forte, I have a rich, deep palate and I'm yeah. looking for something more. I the mean, farmer's daughter, I thought would be it, but obviously, <laughs> maybe I want the farmer's mother. Oh, my I goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, 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 <laughs> Alicia's famous laugh. Oh, 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 oh. I love that on beer. We'll have to get her to do that to your laugh. <laughs> No, do it. Oh, yeah, let's see. So it'll be part the spot the like daughter. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, you just do some fancy moves. Dance, 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 Summer 2015. Who do you want? I got big ooh, ass ooh. hands. What? No hands. Farmer's daughter. What? So we were at the pool, and my dad is like blaring like the most inappropriate music while there's like little seven year olds running bottoms around. Bottoms up, bottoms up. He does, because I got high, <laughs> yeah, he so does. Um, what else did you do? Oh. Cake, 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 cake. I'm like, Dad, it's not your pool. It's a club. But, it is my hey. pool. I pay my dues. <laughs> I pay my dues, bitches. <laughs> Hey, old man Fenway. Fenway wants to guess the parents. All right, we'll be back we'll again. Be back. Not impressed. No. It's, you know, if you were four bucks and you want a six pack, I you're don't want to. This, this sorry, was, farmer, but your yeah. daughter's a prude. Yeah, try harder. Hopefully. All right, all right, all right. And we're back. It's time for the Even though it's on Texas the beer. And we've got a, a wonderful beer that I'm very excited about. It's called Shina. China Ruby Redbird. It's brewed in Texas. Let me give you a little background on it. This refreshing brew is made from Texas Ruby Red grapefruit juice. What? The signature citrus of the Rio Grande, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Tartness from the grapefruit juice 
and a delightful uh, kick from the ginger flavor combined. I thought my wife was giving me the yawn sign <laughs> over there. Combined for a taste that's a perfect any time of year. All right, so enough of the pleasantry. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. No, it's an you, you got it, you got it. Hey, let me open it to you. No. Well, she work, you work at a dental office, so no, you should No, I don't want get veneers. A good deal. You don't want to I'm really hoping this up? is going to be good because I'm usually not a big fan of grapefruit. Usually I want you to put fan. it in here because you got a little... Um, the farmer's daughter left, have a little left over there. Jesus. Oh, it's got a little color, too. It looks like almost like another Budweiser. Yeah. It's... I usually don't like the ones that you can look see through. <laughs> I like the pork. Well, it the does stouts. have a little, you can see it does have a little gold color to it. Oh, look at that nice little bear head over there. But this All is right. good because the less head, the less malt is in your beverage. Really? Yeah. Cheers. Cha ching. Cheers. Boom. Boom. Ooh, I like the smell. Mm -mm. It's, is Ooh. it very grapefruity? No. No, not at all. There, it it's is. It's kind of like a shandy. Yeah, it gives you the, the tart finish. So it's like a diet ginger ale. Hmm. No. I feel like I always say diet ginger ale for everything. Mm. I can see what you're saying about the ginger. Again, it said ginger in there it does somewhere. have ginger in it, yeah. It's a clean Wait. taste. I like it. It's not bad. It's an easy, another it's easy drinker. It's not what I was drinking. expecting. Exactly. It's another easy drinker. And it's it's flav much more flavorful than the farmer's daughter. Oh, yes. indeed. Sorry. <laughs> mm. But if you have too many farmer's daughters, then you're going to get a shiner. <laughs> nice, nice, very good. She gets her her. Yeah, I can't even freaking. That's put what her happens. I feel like when I, I feel like the first time that oh, like oh, tape, you get nervous because you're like, oh my gosh, like you're. I am like not nervous. I did. I do have my own YouTube channel, Steve Santa Maria, but it is so you'd have to send me an invite because remember what I did and I was sporting a beer, pretty cool. You're sporting a beer. Yeah, a beard. Oh, a beard. But I probably had a beard. Remember when I was doing my. Thing, and you're in it too. I'll have to show you. Well, for school. My school. When I did my lecture and stuff. Steve was video. I was yelling at Steve to you get were. the camera right. And you also said there's nothing finer than a shiner. Yeah, good. Good. Worth nine bucks for a six pack. Yeah. This was nine dollars. You got this for nine dollars? Yeah, it was nine oh. bucks for six pack. So you got a six pack of this. So you would you would probably enjoy that, right? Yeah, this is fine. It's not I not bad. This one in our prickly pear. Are we doing that one tonight? I already did the perfect. We already oh, did, you already did that. You drank it already? No. No, that's, we I did that. We already um, reviewed that one. We can review another one, though. That's bad. I got a prickly. You want a prickly pear? Come here. Uh, hold off a little bit. So, you do. You guys just are these two? I'm going to pick one more, I think. Oh, let's go trivia. You want to do the trivia now? All right, let's go trivia. So All right, for, you have to be ready, then. All right, and for tonight's trivia. No, we got to go, oh. do. What? Yeah, we got to do something weird, and you got to say. Trivia, but you have to like, we have to, what do you want to do? What? Like sometimes you have to, like, sometimes I'll just be like, one time we did the opera singing to it. Oh my goodness. Is that an opera? Yep. Okay, we're going to pause. <laughs> so we're, we're going, we're going into it? Yes. So we're going. Beer facts, 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 beer what do you Sock got? What do you got? What do you got? Sock, Sock it to me, do. baby. <laughs> um, oh. And I'm what I'm gonna blow. Well, let oh, me. Man. She blew your mind. I'm gonna expand your mind. All right. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the old six pack when you roll up to the store and where did they ever come that six, term from? Six pack. Well, let me. Do you want me to give it to you right yeah, now? Yeah, tell me. Tell All me. Right. Tell me about it. So here's where the six pack started. Way back was it the 40s or the 30s? Think around that. Yeah. It was 30, in the 1940s, 1930s. The big producers of beer, and actually the first real big one that actually uh, put it out there, was Pabst Blue Ribbon. Not, Pabst? Not my favorite beer. The cheap stuff, but hey, if that's what suits you, go for it. But anyways, the manufacturers thought what it would be easy for women to carry a six-pack home what? to their beer guzzling husbands. Wow. So, you know, and but the interesting fact with that is 
So that was in the 40s. Then when men um, put their input, guess what it was? What? A 30 pack. Oh my. So, <laughs> that shows you the difference in opinions, but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So anytime you go to get that six pack now, now you know it was actually made for a woman to bring home to her man. Lovely. Alicia, you got anything else? I think that um, if I was the wife, I would definitely have picked the 30 pack. I prefer a 12 pack myself. <laughs> 12 pack's good to, to bring home. So, all right.